Do you sometimes feel vulnerable? Are you sometimes scared because your life is changing and you are afraid of losing everything? Well, if we are followers of Jesus, we should always have confidence and we should always be ready for change because Jesus wants to change us for the better. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. Today's gospel is the middle part of what has been called, um, since the 16th century, the High Priestly Prayer of Jesus. This is the longest prayer um, that has been recorded of the Lord. And in this prayer, uh, our Lord pray, prays directly to His Heavenly Father, asking that all those who follow Him should be safe and that their hearts be as one as He is one with His Father. So the Gospel is presented to us by St. John, chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. Let's read an excerpt of this beautiful prayer. Holy Father, says Jesus, keep them, keep them in your name that you have given me so that they may be one just as we are one. So Jesus here prays for the safety and for the unity of his disciples and for all who uh, would believe in him like you and me. And the Lord continues a little, little later on and he says, I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them. Once again, listen, that you keep them from the evil one. So the Lord here um, starts his prayer by asking his father to keep them, to keep us, and ends this part of the prayer by repeating to his father once again, to keep them, yes, to keep them, to keep us. This is the theme of the high priestly prayer. This is the theme of Jesus' prayer, that the Father may keep everyone safe, that he, keep, that he may keep us safe. Why? Well, because the world is a dangerous place. The world is a, is a confusing place. It's in the world that the devil, the evil one, operates and works to turn people away from God. He tries to fill our minds with empty promises, offers passing pleasures, and, and encourages selfish ambitions. The world is, is where the devil hides himself, or, or better still, it's behind the world that the devil hides himself in order to use and to manipulate the world to lead us Christians away from God. Now, those Christians who reject the world and its passing pleasures and, and who accept and, and are faithful to the message of, of Jesus will unfortunately, yes, be hated and will be persecuted by the world. The, they will be hated and persecuted just, just like Jesus himself was hated and persecuted by the world. Why? Because, because just like Jesus, they do not identify themselves with the world. They do not, well, identify themselves with, with the world's corrupting values and, and destructive priorities. But Jesus also makes it clear that he is not asking that, that we Christians be taken away from the world. He's asking that that we Christians may be protected from the world's evil influences. A Christian has to, has to help the world to become a better place. A Christian has to, has to learn and, and work to, to transform the world. It's only by living and, and being active in the world that, that a Christian, that you and me, will be able to, to do apostolate and will be able to communicate the gospel message of, of salvation and love. This, this is why Jesus prays to his heavenly Father and says, keep them. Notice that our Lord doesn't ask his Father to, to teach them or, or to guide them or, or to strengthen them. But our Lord asks his heavenly Father to keep them, to keep them rooted and grounded in the truth of the word, in the person of Jesus. This is the same prayer that that every father and, and mother says when, when they are about to, to, to be absent from their family 
or when they are about to, to be absent from or far away from their loved ones. They say, please, Lord, keep my family safe. Please, Lord, keep my family and my dear ones away from harm. Keep them from danger. Keep them from, away from evilness. And the Lord Jesus continues to pray for us and to ask his Father to, to keep us safe, to keep us secure, to keep us secure in the truth of the Word, the Word which will unite us all together in the glory of God. So, so let's thank God the Father to have sent us his divine Son, Jesus, into the world. And let's, let's, let's thank our Lord and let's thank Our Lady also, our Lord's Mother, that they continue that they continually pray for us and that they continually intercede for us. And let's ask them to continually keep us safe and to keep us united in Jesus and in Mary as we evangelize the world for them. And may Almighty God bless you all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.